hello friends here we are going to calculate the present value of ordinary annuity by using ms excel so here we have placed the information so amount of annuity is 1000 rate of interest is 10 percent period is four years and here we are assuming that it is annual compounding so we go to insert function in insert function we shall choose the present value calculation and now we can start the calculation so here we shall place the rate of interest that is here this is number of periods it is this and this is the amount this value is not there this value is also not there and here is our calculation of present value of annuity so this calculation has been made for an annual annuity amount of rupees 1000 at 10 percent interest rate for 4 percent now we can make quick calculation for 11 percent or 12 percent for the same amount for the same period it is very simple so just copy this formula and place it here so we have made the calculation and here we are changing the time period so from four years we are changing to five years and we are placing rate of interest is 10 percent here 11 percent so the same formula we can copy here and place and it calculates the information so these are different present value of NOT which we have calculated with the help of insert function of MS Excel now same way we can calculate future value of NOT so we go to insert we go to function in function we choose future value and then we ok it now we shall place the values here so rate of interest it is here we have placed it number of time intervals we have placed it then amount of installment we have placed it so we don't have any present value so type is also zero so here is our calculation of future value of annuity and to calculate future value of these annuities these questions we will just copy the formula and make the calculations now this calculation was on yearly basis now we can make the calculation on half yearly basis so instead of depositing rupees 1000 on annual basis rupees 500 are deposited on half yearly basis so in that case this interest rate will be halved and these time intervals will be increased let us see so time intervals have been doubled so there are four years so four years include eight half years so we can make the use of same formula so we go to insert function so choose the present value now we can place the figures so rate of interest it is here number of day time intervals it is here and amount it is here so this value is zero this value is also zero here we have our calculation so this is present value when we calculate at half yearly intervals and we can copy it and calculate the present value for 
other period. Now, in the same way, we can calculate future value of NOT. So, we go to insert, we go to function, we choose future value calculation and here is our dialog box. So, we place the information, so it is 8, so, sorry, it is this and here we have this information, here we have amount information, this is 0, this is 0 and here is our calculation. So, we have calculated it for this and we can copy it. So, this way we have calculated the present value of ordinary annuity and future value of ordinary annuity for a number of questions. So, five questions we have covered here, five questions we have covered here. So, that is how we can make use of MS Excel function for calculation of value of annuity. Thank you friends for watching this video. I am sure you must be benefited by this. Thank you.